So please watch our free perception altering home fire safety video that's coming up next. If you're like most people, this video really will alter your perception of home fire. It's not uncommon for someone to watch this video once, twice, and even a third time. So please share this valuable video with all your friends because it just may help one day to save a life. Thank you for watching. If you're a pet owner, this video will offer twice the value once you see our Fire Rescue for Pets Advanced Fire Protection Technologies. Startling claims that the most popular kind of smoke detector may not protect your family in a fire. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rossin is here with the details. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning. This really does affect all of us. And look, we've all been there. You burn toast in your house and suddenly your smoke alarm goes off. So you assume it's ultra sensitive, but experts say, think again. Turns out smoke from burning food is much different than smoke from burning furniture. In fact, we found in a real fire, your smoke detector may not go off in time to save your family. 911. I have a fire in my home. I've got the baby I've got a call with. A desperate mother waking up to a house full of smoke trying to save her kids. As I'm trying to get upstairs, my first thought is the four people that I have upstairs. I'm trying to make sure that they're not scared to death, that they're safe, and that they're okay. I have four children dead in the house. This burning is incinerated. The kids didn't make it. Cause of death, smoke inhalation. So why didn't they have more warning? After all, Amanda Deputy says the house had working smoke detectors. We put fresh batteries in the smoke detectors. We pushed the test button so I knew they worked. And then when it was time, they never went off. Amanda says she had the most common type of smoke detector used in 90% of homes. Inexpensive, easy to find alarms that rely on ionization technology. They work well to detect fires with fast flames. But experts say some of the most deadly fires are the smoldering smoky kind that can fill your home with toxic gases while you sleep. Experts say in those fires, ionization alarms don't work well, going off way too late or not at all. And that means that the individuals could have a fire in their home and never receive a warning. Don Russell is a scientist at Texas A&M. He's run hundreds of tests. When I go to the store to buy a smoke detector, I assume that it's going to sound when there's smoke. That's a reasonable assumption, but it's wrong. His findings are a bombshell in the industry, that the most popular smoke detectors may not help you in a fire. You're about to see just how scary that can be. We had Dr. Russell set up a test at the Texas A&M Engineering Extension Service. First, Dr. Russell placed three ionization detectors, the kind most of us have, in a room with a couch. Next, firefighters set a slow, smoky fire using a soldering iron. We're watching on monitors outside. Firefighters say every minute counts to get your family out. But watch, the room is filling up with smoke, and the smoke detectors still haven't gone off. It's been 30 minutes. The smoke is all the way to where the smoke detectors are, and we still don't have any alert from the smoke detectors. Finally, at 36 minutes. We do have a smoke detector going off. Minutes later, the other two go off, just as the couch is about to erupt in flames. It's way too late. It's too dangerous. You couldn't get out of that room reliably. Remember, this is the type of smoke detector most of us have. But there's another technology out there that experts say gives you better warning in these fires. It's called a photoelectric detector, and even government tests show it goes off much sooner in smoky fires. Watch what happens when Dr. Russell sets up another test, this time with a photoelectric next to those three ionization detectors. 17 minutes in, with barely any smoke in the room, the photoelectric sounds the alarm. Photoelectric is telling us, you've got a fire, get up, solve the problem, get out of the house. Meanwhile, toxic smoke is overtaking the room. In fact, it takes another 21 minutes before any ionization detectors go off. 
these seasoned firefighters are shocked. All I could think about was my own family. And if I would have relied on ionization, then my family probably wouldn't make it out. But with a the photoelectric, they would have had plenty of time to get out. When controlled, fire is our friend. But uncontrolled, fire can quickly become our worst nightmare. Not on one emergency. Oh my God, oh my God, please, come quick. My house is on fire. Your house is on fire? Oh. Every 16 seconds, a house fire is reported in the United States. Each year, thousands of people die in house fires, and tens of thousands suffer severe burns and other injuries. Fire does not discriminate. We are all equally at risk. But there are ways to minimize that risk, especially when we understand the nature of house fires and what to do if you find yourself faced with the unthinkable. You may think your home is safe from the potential of fire, but statistics tell a different story. Consider this. While you are watching this program, over 200 fires will be reported in the U.S. At least four people will lose their lives, be injured, or face long, painful rehabilitation in burn centers, perhaps never to resume the same quality of life. We see a lot in our business and uh, a, lot of, a lot of bad things, and one of the worst things that I think uh, I've seen is a burn victim. I think that the average person has a misconception that a fire will never happen to them. I've been in fires where we've seen the fire start in different sections of the house and uh, the heat and the hot and the gases have traveled to other sections of the house or upper floors and uh, the heat was so intense to where it actually melted televisions or phones and seeing a dial and you know a blob of plastic. The fireman later told me that very room I uh, reached over 1,200 degrees. He said aluminum melts at 1,200 degrees, and it melted the aluminum frames right off the windows in there, just like candles. They just ran like candles. Unlike Hollywood, a real fire is uh, very difficult to see, oftentimes very black. It's uh, unable to see your hand in front of your face, making it extremely difficult to get out of your home. Since fire rapidly consumes massive amounts of oxygen, your first danger is being lulled into a deep, oxygen-deprived sleep from which you can't wake. Many victims actually suffocate before smoke or flames ever reach them. have been on more than one fire. We found people lying on, on the couch or in the bed. They were overcome by smoke, hot gases, and they died in that same position that they went to sleep in. A residential nighttime fire is like oxygen in a bubble. There's only so much available oxygen, which is either depleted by you or the fire that is breaking out. Of the air we breathe, the normal oxygen level is about 21% oxygen, and the balance, 79%, is nitrogen. However, within two to three minutes of a fire starting, the oxygen levels can drop to as little as 10%. This is like taking a sleeping pill. It further narcoticizes the brain. This can cause irrational thinking, confusion, unconsciousness, and a possible tragedy. Tragically, many lethal night fires occur between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. when we're sleeping. Usually, they're reported by a neighbor or a passerby. The occupants are asphyxiated due to the lack of oxygen or toxic gases, and they're unable to call for help on their own. But imagine for a moment that you do wake, only to rise into the superheated air that hugs the upper half of this room. One breath of this air, nearly 800 degrees at eye level, can literally scorch the lungs. A burning house emits a deadly cocktail of toxic gases like acrolein, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, ammonia, and even hydrogen cyanide. As you try to escape, you create a vacuum for the oxygen-starved fire, and in what's termed a flashover, everything combustible inside the home instantly ignites and the house literally explodes. In a case like this, you'd likely never stand a chance. As plastics burn off, three and four times faster than wood does, it's really shortening our escape time. And there's another concern. The synthetic materials not only speed up a fire, they also emit toxic fumes when they burn. As responders, we're well aware of the dangerous gases inside buildings, but I think as homeowners, sometimes we're not.
Just look at this living room. Almost everything in it is made from synthetic materials. We have beautiful carpeting, beautiful furniture. Fire experts say that what many people don't realize is that when plastics or other synthetics burn, the smoke that fills a home isn't traditional smoke at all. It's literally a plume of flammable liquid. What we used to call smoke, I like to call gases now. The Chicago Fire Department, working with the world's leading fire safety experts at Underwriters Laboratories, conducted a study to show just how dangerous a modern house fire can be. In 2037, it went from no fire in the hallway to the stairs were blazing. Even firefighters are overcome. <laughs> and your chance to get out alive is getting shorter and shorter. Research shows 30 years ago, you had about 17 minutes to escape. Today, it's only three to four minutes. Turns out there's a reason newer homes burn faster. You know the old saying, they don't build them like they used to? Well, they don't build them like they used to. And to show you, we've come here to Chicago. It's a lab where we're going to do a demonstration. I'm wearing this hard hat and these safety glasses so we stay safe. They have two rooms built here side by side. The first one is sort of a flashback to the 70s or 80s, the way homes used to be built. Real wood on the coffee table, more natural fabrics. But if you come just next door, this room probably looks the way your home looks right now. Modern furniture, a lot of synthetic fibers from the curtains to the couch, even to the coffee table. Experts say newer homes can burn five times faster than the older ones. So we're going to light up the modern room first and see what happens. Let's go. Within seconds, flames are already shooting up from the pillow. Just seconds later, it's spreading to the entire couch. The backing on your carpet is synthetic. Your drapes are synthetic. The couch, the pillows are synthetic. And they're more flammable than the way they used to be. They made. burn hotter and faster than natural materials do. So why do they make it out of that stuff? It's less expensive. It's the way homes are furnished today. There's no getting away from that. In less than two minutes, the fire jumps to the lamp and the end table. Black smoke filling the room. By two minutes, 20 seconds, watch, that chair goes up in flames. At two minutes and 40 seconds, it's the coffee table. And then this, complete flashover. You can't survive this. The fire's coming out of the roof yeah, there. Should let, we leave? Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Jeez, let's get out of here. That was fast. All right, now we're going to light the older home up to see the difference. Are we good to go here? Good to go. All right, let's get out of here. The sparks up. Two minutes pass, and the fire is still barely noticeable. I'm just amazed this pillow has been on fire for several minutes now, but it hasn't even caught the rest of the couch. It could be the difference between life and death, and it's been proven many times. At five minutes, the flames are just peeking over the top of the pillow. Ten minutes, only the corner of the couch is burning, and the drapes are catching. At 15 minutes, the room is still intact. It's been 26 minutes, and take a look. The fire is still mostly contained to the couch. It hasn't even spread to this table. It hasn't spread to the plant or even the coffee table. And the fact that you can see me right now and we can stand here, the black smoke is not overpowering. It's taken this long. You could still get out. In the end, it takes 30 minutes for the old house to burn. The modern house, less than three. Whether you plug it in, it generates heat or uses energy, it can start a fire. And if it can start a fire, it can take everything that you love. The bottom line is that every appliance that is powered by electricity can short circuit and overheat. A recent article in Consumer Reports shows that over 15 million product recalls occur in the last five years. Major appliances cause more than 150,000 residential fires each year. Fire hazard is the number one listed recall reason. So no matter how careful we try to be, some electrical fires and appliance malfunctions are just purely unpredictable and beyond our control. If and when an appliance malfunctions is a calculated risk. It's a roll of the dice. It's a game of chance. Most of us are familiar with the term structural fire. It's when the home is consumed by smoke and flame and it's clearly visible from the exterior outside of the house. But many of us may have never heard the term contained residential fire. In a contained residential fire, 
Everything on the outside of the house appears to be normal, but the inside of the house is a lethal, toxic disaster. The outside of the home appears to be normal to somebody passing by, but the inside is unseen chaos, a smoke-filled disaster. In a contained residential fire, the fire can smolder for hours, completely filling the house with smoke and other toxic gases, but never burst into flames. Pets can hear a smoke detector, but when left alone, can't get help or escape a burning, smoke-filled home. In the USA, over 2,500 people die annually in residential fires, but 20 times more, over 50,000 pets die in home fires each year. That's 2,000% more than people. We don't want to leave any pet desperate and hoping for a rescue, simply because they're unable to escape a burning house on their own. Our mission is to raise awareness concerning pets and home fires, which we call the hidden tragedy. Through this video, we'd like to educate every single person on how to better protect against home fires for both their two-legged and four-legged family members. Um, most recently, we went on a house fire where four o'clock in the morning, the homeowners were in bed, children were asleep, and the neighbor noticed smoke rolling out of the eaves and out of the uh, vents. And luckily was awake at the time of the morning, came over and beat on the door, woke the occupants up, got everybody out safe, and the detectors never alarmed. There are different types of detectors available. The most common in homes is the ionization detector. Chances are you are one of the millions of families who go to sleep every night with this type of detector in your hallway. It works like this. Ions flow between two metal plates. When smoke particles enter the chamber, the flow is interrupted and the alarm is triggered. If you burn toast in your kitchen and your smoke alarm goes off, you would probably conclude that it would function adequately in any kind of fire. Well, think again. Burning toast and kitchen smoke usually produce lots of small particles, just the right combination to block the flow of ions. But the smoke particles produced by, say, a burning sofa could have a larger charge, are fewer in number, and often don't interrupt the flow of ions. The result? Your alarm might not sound, and you and your family may not be protected. Knowing everything that you know about fire and how important it is to be properly prepared, there's really nothing that should stop you from getting this for you and your family and your pets. However, in the polls that we've conducted, there is only one objection that people would give us is the only reason why they wouldn't go ahead with this, and that's if it was too expensive. So the good news is we basically put together a program that is totally affordable for everybody. Based on your unique needs and budget, we have a solution for you to help prevent fire from striking against your home, your family, and your pets. Our new technology revolutionizes residential smoke detection. Each has a built-in auto-calling cellular connection. It brings help quickly and automatically, even when no human is home, just your vulnerable pets. With Smoke Guardian, you get an added layer of protection against the deadly nighttime fire. It calls automatically in the event of low oxygen or panic and fear, which both can make dialing the phone next to impossible. Your call for help will always be heard with Smoke Guardian. The closest competition that we have in our industry is a professional alarm company. There's over 12,000 alarm companies across the United States of America. Most are small mom and pop type businesses. Probably the biggest alarm company that most of us would recognize the name would be ADT. You see their ads on TV all the time. To give you a price comparison here, if you were to get a master communication console from a reputable professional alarm company, the console itself 
This is the master communicator. This is what the actual smoke detector sends signals to inside the home. It actually looks like a small mini computer. Once it receives the signal from the smoke detectors, it actually would dial out directly to an emergency center or a monitoring center where it would bring the fire department and contact the proper authorities and every family member about the situation at hand. If you looked at a master communication console, you'll find the average to be anywhere from two to $350 for the master controller by itself. Three quality photoelectric type smoke detectors would cost easily $150 to $200 each. Might be a few that's a couple pennies less, might be a few that's a few dollars more. But your total equipment cost, if you add up the cost of the master controller and the three smoke detectors, you would find you'd be spending anywhere from $650 to $950 uh, for complete protection inside the home. That's for three smoke detectors. 24-hour monitoring is anywhere from $29 to $45 per month. I know firsthand we've had ADT give us a quote on three smoke detectors by themselves. They wanted $52 a month for the monitoring, and they only charged $99 down for the equipment, but the monitoring fee was $52, and they wanted us to sign a 36-month, no-cancellation, locked-in monitoring contract, which is very, very typical for all alarm companies. For comparison's sake, if you called ADT out to install three wireless photoelectric auto-calling smoke detectors inside of your home, you would have them come out, install three smoke detectors, and also include in their installation a master control console, which is A listed here on the page. This is a 8 by 10 inch by maybe 2 to 3 inch thickness, looks like a mini computer. This is the control side of the communication and the wireless transmission from the smoke detectors. B is actually a transformer because the system requires electri electricity to run uh, 24 hours a day. In the event the electricity goes out, C, a standby uh, backup battery would also be available for the system to give you about 24 hours uh, of added uh, emergency power. And let's say in the case of a major storm that blew out the electricity, uh, you would have up to 24 hours of added protection when the electricity goes out. D is the wireless receiver that you see there. That's how the smoke detectors communicate directly to the console. And E is the modem. This is what actually sends a signal directly to the emergency response center that would notify uh, the proper authorities that you had a fire in your home and also contact uh, friends, relatives, and neighbors. All this that you see on the page, A, B, C, D, and E, with Smoke Guardian, we have reduced the size of all these five components to the size of a, uh, a quarter. All this to the size of a quarter through micro technology. And the good news is our system doesn't require any electricity. It can run up to three years on a simple lithium battery, about the half a size of, a, of your little finger. And that gives the power to the smoke detectors to be able to communicate. So in a sense, Every single smoke detector we have has a built-in master control console inside of each one of the smoke detectors. It's new, it's revolutionary, it's more effective, it doesn't require electricity. It's state-of-the-art. And the good news is we can do this installation. We just mail these out to you and you self-install them very simply. But the good news is we can provide this quality service for a fraction of the cost that someone like ADT or any other national alarm company would charge you. That's the good news. Hi, I'm Ben, and welcome to Smoke Guardian. We understand your desire to protect your home, family, and pets from the dangers of smoke and fire. And up until now, your options were limited. It was either hire an expensive home security company to install a system and wait around for them to put it in, or you could purchase a basic off-the-shelf battery-operated smoke detector. Most home security companies require credit checks and long-term contracts. Off-the-shelf detectors aren't effective for keeping your home and pets safe because beeping alone when you are away won't send help or call the proper authorities like the fire department. Let me introduce you to the completely wireless smoke detector solution that calls for help automatically. Smoke Guardian 
is on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and works through cellular technology. To wirelessly connect your auto call smoke detectors to professionally trained emergency operators, smoke guardian detectors require no wires or programming and work right out of the box. They are battery operated, so even during a blackout, live emergency operators will receive your signal. Unlike Wi Fi based systems, Smoke Guardian detectors are monitored. You may even be able to receive a discount on your homeowner's insurance bill. Just tell them you have a new smoke detector system with professional 24 hour a day monitoring. Smoke Guardian is affordable, effective, and comes with a complete satisfaction guarantee. There are no long term commitments, and with our award winning professional monitoring service, you will receive your text message and email alerts whenever there is any emergency because you should always know if you're home loved ones or pets are in danger. So sign up today for one of the safest and most affordable options to protect what matters to you the most. The central core, the foundation, the key to superior home fire safety for home, family, and pets is 24 hour immediate automatic response Smoke Guardian's four-point guarantee. The beauty about these smoke detectors is that they're pre-programmed, ready to go. The minute you receive them, all you do is take them out of the box. They come individually with their own simple test button to verify that you have 24-7 monitoring directly linked to each smoke detector. You'll receive, after you press each smoke detector's test button, a SMS text or an email verifying that the link to the center is working properly also comes with a low battery notification a very important point because the majority of smoke detectors in the united states don't work because they have low batteries or no batteries when you have a low battery that results in a signal sent directly to your smartphone or to your email address you know exactly what you have to do you just simply replace the battery immediate smoke detector activation notification when you have an actual fire situation in the home we automatically will notify up to five family members, letting them know by SMS, text, or email again that there's a situation that they need to be aware of. And last and not least is that there's no price hikes ever. Our equipment and our monitoring is etched in stone. We do not change the pricing. Unlike a lot of companies that like to charge you little in the beginning and then somehow every year up the price, we don't follow or prescribe to that formula. Your prices are locked in and guaranteed. So please contact your representative that forwarded this video of our home fire safety clinic to you. Please get a hold of them today so we can lock in the special pricing that we're giving you here in this video. So please don't hesitate. And be sure to ask about our 10 day special offer we will actually give you one month of free monitoring for each and every word of mouth recommendation that you give us that results in an other client. For example, if you refer us to a friend of yours, we will actually give you one month of free monitoring when your friend becomes a customer of ours. And as a special incentive to your friend, we will also give that person, your friend, one month of free monitoring as well. So it's a win-win situation. One month of free monitoring for each friend you recommend, and the friend you recommend also gets a month of free monitoring. Thank you for your participation in our Word of Mouth program. In a fire, you don't realize that you lose all your, your everything, every picture, every video, everything that I, I've ever possibly worked for. I can't think of anything any worse. Uh, I've seen wreck victims, I've seen people stabbed, I've seen people shot, I've seen people die of cancer, but I don't know that there is uh, anything in comparison to a mother or a father listening to their children as uh, they're trapped in a burning home and they're not able to get them out. You know, you always think you got time, but uh, that, I mean, it went, it went really fast. I've never seen anything go so fast. It just takes a matter of seconds because a fire can wipe you out, and it wipes us out. Prepare your house in the most best way you can, because if my kids had been asleep back in the bedroom, we wouldn't have got out. 911, 
one to catch the case. There's a fire at my house. Let me give you the fire department. Hold on. Terror. Absolute terror. Automatic reporting saves precious time, which then saves precious lives of both the two-legged and four-legged kind. Don't make the most common mistake that people make, thinking that fire only happens to the other guy. Get prepared before your emergency takes place. It's the only time that matters.